Okay, in this video, I'm going to update the airware on my iX14. So, pull down from the top, hit the task manager button, pull down from the top again because Wi Fi is not turned on, hit the back arrow, Wi Fi is now connecting. Now it's connected. And we go to system settings and product information. And we're on dot 13. We.13. We're on V2.01A.13. The new one is dot 14. So click on the black Google Play button. And there is an update. So here goes nothing. I hope they didn't put bugs in it. Nope, I don't want that. Okay. And by the way, back up your models before you do a airware upgrade, just in case. If you have to do a reset, you'll lose everything, including your models. So always back up your models before you do anything drastic. I backed mine up the other day and I haven't really changed anything since then. It's been about four days, maybe. Okay, we're installing. I don't know what deactivate does. I've never done that. I've never done a reset either. I've had my iX14 since November of 2022, and it's been pretty good other than a couple of buggy airware versions. And uh, the version that I'm replacing right now has been good. I just hope this one's not messed up. Seems like every other one's good. The others are bad, so... All right, so let's go back to the task manager and see if it's actually running. And it is running. So we'll throw this off the screen. And there it goes. But it went black. Ah, it's starting now. Okay, so back to here, and we now have dot 14, but um, let's uh, go to the task manager and throw it off the screen to kill it. Click the task manager again, and nothing is running. So, we should be able to just start it with the icon. Okay. And it is on dot 14. So let's check out something they normally screw up. 
on the travel. There has been a bug when you lock these together that they don't move together. One will move and the other one stays where it was. And you have to kind of At least in the past, I've had to um, try different things to make it mess up. But so far, it's working like it ought to. So maybe they didn't mess that up. But that was one of the things that some versions had that was messed up. Um... They didn't fix a lot. They fixed the telemetry for other languages other than English. Apparently it worked okay with English, but foreign languages, the telemetry didn't work correctly. And apparently you couldn't save the, the settings and things. But it'll be a while before I find out whether or not it's still working. So, anyway, now, once you get the firmware updated, or airware, it's not actually firmware, it's an app. Although there is firmware for the RF module, but in this update, they didn't update the firmware for the RF module. They only updated Airware. And Airware is really an app. It's firmware on a DX and an NX. But on an IX, it's more of an app than uh, firmware. So anyway, like I say, when you get done, you need to kill the Wi-Fi. So pull down, turn Wi-Fi off. Don't leave Wi-Fi turned on because it could uh, download updates to the keyboard, which is called Gboard, and it could download an update to Google Drive, which will break your uh, cloud backups to Google Drive. So anyway, um, make sure the fan's not on. And go back here and click that. I, obviously, I'm operating my iX14 with my computer because the screen of my iX14 is displayed on my monitor. And I'm using my mouse and keyboard to edit the settings. It makes it a lot easier. Of course, you can't do this at the field. But I do most of my model setups at home and do very little changes at the field but it's not hard to, with a touch screen so anyway that's all there is to updating the firmware so catch y'all later